Well, here we are at the site of the angel, and this site has a recorded history going right back into the 13th century. We know, for example, there was a shop on this site in 1214, and the chap who held the shop, a man named Robert Lefrere, interestingly paid a rent of a pound of cum in a year. That is an awful loss of cum in. I think it is. Yeah. And after that, of course, it was connected with the church over there because the rent of the shop, whatever it was in, paid for a lamp in front of the altar of Holy Cross, which was in the parish part of the church. After the dissolution of the monasteries, the shop became the parish brew house. Mm -hmm. It's been, it was a pub from about 1700 until 1965, which is when it was converted back to a shop. Right. This is part of Monmouth's story as a trading center, isn't it? In the early 19th century, Charles Heath's guidebook said the angel was the place to stay if you were what he called a mercantile traveler. Yes, he said it was a house of great respectability. Um, but there were some not very respectable goings on there as well, weren't there? Yeah. In 1720, one of the customers stole two pewter plates and a linen napkin. And for that, she was tied to a cart and whipped round the town. There were more respectable activities as well, though. The Tradesmen's Society, the Black Swan Friendly Society, the Sons of Equity, all those working class insurance organisations. Yeah, and there was fun as well. A Monmouth branch of the Cyclist Touring Club met here. Cycle rides down the Y Valley must have been lovely in the days before the motor car. And, and of course, this was cheap transport for ordinary people. Yeah, we're moving into more modern times now. Let's see what happened elsewhere in the 19th century. <laughs> 